y'all welcome back to my channel i am sunny brooks if you're new here welcome if you are not welcome back today we are talking about confidence and how to build our confidence um i'm gonna give literally like tangible actionable things to do and not just like theoretical ideas of things because sometimes when it comes to confidence i feel like we need things that's really gonna like like small things that's gonna that we're gonna start to notice a change so that's what i'm doing here if you're interested on how to boost your confidence or how to um increase your worth not increase your worth oh not that's not what i mean how to know your worth how to really start to like feel yourself and like really embrace yourself as you are y'all keep watching i got some good stuff. down on yourself listen the more we talk down on ourselves the more we beat up on ourselves the more we feel less than the more we feel inadequate the more we feel like someone else is deserving we're not worthy like listen stop talking down on yourself talking down on yourself really can um it could it could put a damper in your self-esteem and your confidence i remember a time like i used to I used to just talk down on myself because it was something I was used to. Like, I grew up that way. Like, I don't know. I don't know why, but that is how I grew up, right? Like, my dad used to do that. Like, he would be like, oh, that was okay, but you could have did this or that wasn't good enough. So, I grew up doing the same thing, talking down on myself. And I realized my self-esteem was suffering. My confidence was suffering. And then I literally had to stop saying jokes about myself, right? Like, I don't want to be the, the, like, the the person that makes jokes of themselves to make light of conversations and things like that. So what I did was like, I used to be like, oh, I look big as a house today. Instead of saying that, like I would cancel it out right then. When I would say, oh, I look as big as a house today, I'm like, nope, you look finer than a, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever, or you cute or you perfect just the way you are. I would literally cancel it out right there. And I started to notice a big change in my confidence when I stopped talking down on myself and I started to cancel out the talk downs on myself with great things, with uplifting things, with affirmations. I started to see a really, like a really big difference um, in my confidence. The second tip is compliment yourself. Like let's not wait on people to compliment us, not even our loved ones, not even our partners, our friends, like compliment yourself. Give yourself compliments. Like girl, you look good. Girl, you are smart. Girl, you are resilient. You are tenacious. You are beautiful inside and out. You are abundant. You are prosperous. Everything you touch is gold. You are an amazing friend. You are an amazing partner. Like really compliment yourself. Compliment yourself in all aspects, just not the physical. Because, like, okay, yes, the physical matters, but it is not the all be all. You have to compliment your entire existence because you can feel like, oh, I look good on the out outside, but on the inside, I'm a horrible person. So, compliment everything. When I say everything, everything. The, th the third tip is saying no to others. I believe saying no to others is saying yes to ourselves. Sometimes we have to protect ourselves put boundaries in place, which I did a video on boundaries. If you're interested in that, go watch my previous video about boundaries. But saying no to others really allow us to, um, to, to speak up for ourselves, to stand up for ourselves, to give a voice to ourselves or our inner selves when we may feel voiceless. I believe this boosts our confidence because if you can tell someone no, you, you, you can really start to, at first you may feel a little like you may not feel very great you may feel a little crappy about telling people no but over time you will feel confident in yourself because if you're able to tell people no and say yes to yourself you're confident in the way you move you com you're confident in the way you speak and you're confident in your decisions so saying okay no no i cannot no i won't come or no i cannot come or no today instead of going out for brunch i'm gonna stay home i'm gonna chill at home because i need a rest day like saying no to others yes it may let other people down but you have to bring yourself up you have to pull yourself up and if you're down because you don't want somebody else to be down that's a problem so boost yourself up by saying no to others and you will really start to see that your confidence like like you feel like mm, like I don't know how to explain it, but if you know what I'm talking about, y'all comment below. The next thing is give yourself grace. 
give yourself grace, okay? We are human. We have human tendencies. We are living a human experience. So we will make mistakes. We will fall short. We will not always have it all together at all times. I believe we can all have we can have it all, but sometimes it's not all at the same time, right? Sometimes we're going to struggle. Sometimes we're going to be um, you know, we're not going to live out to be the person that we feel like we may need at the moment. We also may not be the perfect spouse or the perfect friend. All of those things. We all fall short, right? Listen, give yourself grace. This goes with the stop um, stop speaking down and talking down on yourself because when you give yourself grace, you're allowing yourself to be human. You're allowing yourself to have flaws. You're allowing yourself to make mistakes. So when those things come and you, you're not beating on yourself and you're not talking down on yourself and you're giving yourself grace, you have it's going to help you have confidence the more you go along, if that makes sense. Like, if you're saying, like, oh, every time, you know, you get invited to go out, you always saying no. Like, you always saying no, you're so antisocial, you're such a horrible friend. Like, if you keep talking down on yourself, one, that's going to continue to be true because you keep telling yourself that and it's going to keep manifesting to be true. But two, you're already going, you're going to feel bad about yourself even more. Uh, because you keep beating on yourself. And then three, if you want to see change, one, change, two, you know, change your words. But three, go from the inside. Like, trust yourself. If you are saying no, there's a reason. If you need rest over going out, believe that that is what you need and trust yourself and trusting yourself and giving yourself grace like all of that go hand in hand i know i'm kind of like rambling and all over the place but it, it it all goes with boosting your confidence because if you give yourself grace and if you're trusting yourself that the decisions you make the 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 mistakes that happen the people that you let down if you trust yourself that that is what is meant to happen at that time then you will be able to give yourself grace and knowing that it is just how it should be at this moment gives you a certain confidence that you can like move on and not feel bad or talk down on yourself okay like i hope i didn't just like ooh, ooh. okay hopefully that makes sense y'all let me know if it makes sense the next tip i have is accept compliments accept compliments and this is the next thing i want to say accept compliments without feeling the need to give a compliment in return okay accept the compliment when people are like oh that dress so nice you don't have to say oh this dress it is this is this not an it, it's not that nice or oh this oh this is a thrifted dress or oh like no no or if they be like oh my gosh you look so pretty today i do oh i just woke up out the bed and just i oh god i thought i look a hot mess like no it's thank you period that's it thank you right and Get out of habit of feeling like you have to return a compliment. I'm not saying like if they like if you want to compliment them, don't like I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you feel like every time somebody gives you a compliment, you have to give it give something back. Stop, like stop. You can accept the compliment because you are worth that compliment. You are more than worth that compliment. You are deserving of that confidence. I mean that compliment. So sit in it, sit in it, and sitting in the compliments help boost our. Um, confidence that's why I told you to compliment yourself first but when other people compliment you thank you I do it with my wife when she be like, oh you looking good today you, you looking good I'm like thank you thank you I appreciate it sometimes I return it when I feel like it but I, I don't have to feel obligated to return a compliment because you gave me a compliment I am going to sit in my compliment and I'm going to feel confident and I'm gonna feel good about that okay so one stop 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 talking down on yourself when, like, to kind of downplay the compliment. Don't say, like, oh, oh, my hair is a mess. Or, oh, you like these nails? I hate them. Like, no, stop doing that. And then also stop feeling like you have to return a compliment. Um, yeah, just sit with it. Next tip I have is to do things you are good at consistently. It is... It is a special type of feeling that you get when you keep doing something you're good at 
it, it, I believe it boosts your confidence, right? Like you're good at this thing and you keep doing it, it aids to your confidence because you start to do something that that feels nature natural to you, but you also do something that you know that you're good at. When you know that you're good at something and you keep doing it, one, okay, that kind of like, I got this, like I got this, like I can do this with my eyes closed. That is a boost of confidence. People also give you compliments from that. But doing things that you are good at consistently, like, listen, it aids to your confidence. The next tip is do things that you aren't good at also. Because what you will realize is that one, you will end up getting good at it, right? You consistently do it, you will end up getting good at it. And that could also aid to your confidence, right? Because I started at, I started this thing and I was horrible at it and now I'm pretty good at it. Like, look at me, like I did that. Like I came from the bottom, now I'm here, <laughs> okay? And also, um, or you have tried this thing and then you realize that you're not, you're not interested in it, you're not into it, so you remove yourself from it or you turn it down, right? Saying no, right? You, you're not interested in it, but it can still build your confidence because you gave something a try even though you didn't know what was on the other side. Regardless of the unknown, regardless of how you would go, like you went and you were able to be vulnerable, open and transparent and learning something or doing something that you're not good at, which can ultimately give you confidence because like, look, I'm brave. I'm fearless, not, you know, I'm, I have this like love hate thing with the word fearless, but anyways, um, I'm bold, I'm brave, like I'm courageous. I did this thing even though I didn't know what was on the other side, right? So do things you're not good at because that can aid to your confidence. And the next thing, the final thing I'm gonna go over, which I feel like is one of the most important things when it comes to your confidence, building your self-worth and things like that, is to stop judging and talking about other people. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. Come closer, come closer. Stop judging and talking about other people. When we talk about other people, it says a lot about us. When we judge other people, it says a lot about us. The more we talk and judge other people and talk about them, the less we like ourselves. I do not believe that someone who loves themselves, accept themselves as they are, have, you know, a healthy amount of self-esteem, a healthy amount of self-worth and confidence will sit around and judge anybody else for living their truth. They will also, they will not, they will not sit around and talk about them either, right? Like, that's, I was just sitting there thinking about if I feel comfortable in my skin, if I love me, I accept me, I'm confident, and I am me through and through, like I am authentically, unapologetically me. When I see someone else being away, it's like, yes, I'm like, incur I'm like I want to encourage that. But when I feel less than within myself and I see someone living their truth, I want to be like, oh, who they think that is? Or, oh, she look a mess with that on. Or, oh, she shouldn't even wear that. Why? Because you feel a way, so now you're projecting. You're projecting your self-hatred, your self, that your low self-worth or whatever onto somebody else. So the less you talk about people, the less you judge people, you will realize that your confidence increased. So I encourage you. First step first, I say the best for last. First step first, stop talking about other people, stop judging other people because what you do to other people is a reflection of you. Nine times out of 10, you judging other people because you judge yourself the hardest. That is my tips on how to build confidence. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below. And also don't forget to check out my businesses, Soulful Vibes Co. and Soulful Styles Co. Um, at Soulful Vibes Co. it's a one-stop spiritual shop, Soulful Styles Co. You can get comfortable and free clothing, like free filling clothing. And you can use code SUNNY, S-U-N-N-Y, capitalized S-U-N-N-Y, to save at checkout with both of those companies. And yeah, see y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye.